Then you move on to section 4.3. If, if you look in the reading guide, you'll see that this section is talking about one of the most fundamental ideas that we will talk about in this entire class, Newton's second law. So be sure to give this section a very, very, very close read. Again, those free body diagrams are coming into play. Again, I want you to have seen them and be somewhat familiar with them, but you don't have to be an expert in creating them or using them. We'll get to that in class. You've got some discussion. It's a lot of words. Remember, one of the goals of this class is multiple representations. Not just the equations, but also the words. This block is the statement of Newton's second law. Don't just skip to here. Make sure you understand the reasoning behind this. This is a very simple looking law, but has far reaching implications. So again, make sure you've gone and done the reading of what this law is saying up to here. Then you've got a discussion of the unit of force, the Newton, named after Sir Isaac Newton. And this is where I want you to stop. I want you to stop here. Read what is above. You do not need to read this subsection on weight and gravitational force. That will be dealt with in a separate video a little bit later. However, you should go on through this section a little bit and have a look at example 4.1 and 4.2. These are the types of problems that I'm going to expect you to be able to do both in the homework and on the rack. So again, you don't have to read the text about weight and gravity that is above, but you should skip through it and get to the example 4.1, and which is on page 138, and example 4.2 on page 139. This concludes this video.